Are there different types of female orgasms, and what are their distinctive characteristics? Why do some women experience anorgasmia and how to overcome it? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, there are different types of female orgasms, such as clitoral, vaginal, and mixed orgasms. Each has distinctive characteristics in terms of sensations and stimulation. Anorgasmia is the inability to reach orgasm and can have multiple causes, such as emotional, psychological, or medical factors. Overcoming it may require sexual therapy, counseling, or changes in how one approaches sexuality, including open communication with the partner. Love and sex. Love and sex are closely related in the human experience. Emotional intimacy can significantly enhance sexual satisfaction, and sex can strengthen emotional bonds. The combination of love and sex can be a source of enrichment in relationships. The association between financial stress and sex, financial stress can have a negative impact on couples' sex lives. Concerns about finances can decrease sexual desire and satisfaction. The association between sex and creativity. Some studies have suggested that sexual activity can stimulate creativity and problem solving. The release of dopamine and oxytocin during sex may enhance cognition. The science of kissing. Kissing is not only a display of affection, but also involves a complex chemical interaction. Kisses can increase the release of hormones related to bonding and pleasure. Cooking skills. Knowing how to cook and showing an interest in preparing delicious meals can be a pleasant surprise for many women. Dance skills. The ability to dance can be attractive as it shows coordination, rhythm, and fun. World Orgasm Day, December 21st, is celebrated as World Orgasm Day, a day dedicated to raising awareness about sexual pleasure and sexual health. Diversity of sexual orientations. Sexual orientation is diverse and goes beyond heterosexuality. It includes orientations such as homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, and many others. Each person has their own unique orientation. Sexual education in Nordic countries, Nordic countries such as Sweden and Denmark, have very open and comprehensive sexual education in schools. This translates to lower rates of teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Emotional intimacy, the ability to establish a deep emotional connection and express genuine love and affection is often considered attractive. Emotional strength, the ability to handle emotional situations maturely and balanced is an attractive trait. Female ejaculation or squirting has become a popular topic in mainstream culture, including in pornography. However, its representation in the media can be controversial and may not always reflect reality. Fetishes are atypical sexual interests, including a wide range of objects, body parts, or situations. Fetishes are common and can be a healthy part of a person's sexual life if approached consensually and safely. Height. In many cultures, height is associated with masculinity and protection, leading some women to find taller men attractive. The sexual toy industry has experienced a boom in recent years with a wide variety of products designed to enhance sexual pleasure and intimacy for couples. Influence of food on sex. Some foods are considered aphrodisiacs due to their supposed ability to increase sexual desire. Popular examples include chocolate, oysters, and avocado. The influence of music on arousal. Music can be a powerful aphrodisiac. Various musical styles and songs can influence mood and sexual arousal. 
Influence of Smell on Attraction Smell plays a significant role in sexual attraction. Certain pheromones and body odors have been shown to influence attraction between individuals. Intelligence Many women value intelligence and the ability to engage in interesting and meaningful conversations. Relationship Between depression and decreased sexual desire, depression can impact sexual desire and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Masturbation in the Bible. Although masturbation has often been viewed as taboo in some cultures, the Bible does not explicitly mention masturbation. Interpretations vary. Men in relationships tend to masturbate more than singles. This is because regular sexual activity can increase testosterone levels, thereby boosting sexual desire. This cycle is an interesting phenomenon that illustrates the relationship between sexual activity and body chemistry. Women and pornography. The world of pornography is not exclusive to men. One third of internet users visiting adult sites are women, and around 10 million women per month are interested in this content. A study by Glamour magazine reveals that 87% of women aged 25 to 39 enjoy porn as part of their sexual habits, although over 70% keep it a secret. Female orgasms in an hour worldwide, the record for female orgasms in an hour was set at 134 orgasms in a scientific study. In comparison, during the same period, men reached a maximum of 16 orgasms. This fact highlights the complexity and variability of sexual responses between genders. The role of dopamine. In sex, dopamine is a neurotransmitter that plays a key role in desire and reward. During sexual activity, the brain releases dopamine, contributing to the sensation of pleasure and reinforcing the desire for sex. Skin as a sexual organ. The skin is the body's largest organ and is filled with nerve endings. Physical contact, such as hugs and massages, can be highly erotic and stimulating. Polyamory is a form of relationship in which individuals have multiple consensual partners. It can be an option for those who wish to explore intimate relationships with several people simultaneously. Prevalence of sexually transmitted infections, STIs. STIs are common worldwide and can affect people of all ages and sexual orientations. Condom use and sexual education are important for prevention. Psychology of jealousy. Jealousy is a complex emotion related to possession and competition for a partner. It can arise for various reasons, including concerns about infidelity. The relationship between sex and stress. Although stress can decrease sexual desire in some people, sex can be a powerful stress reducer. The release of endorphins during sex can help alleviate stress and anxiety. Resilience. The ability to overcome adversities and maintain a positive attitude is valued by many people. Sense of responsibility. The ability to take on responsibilities and commitments in life, whether at work, in a relationship, or in the community, is valued. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.